was pushing her. I have no idea. That was the last, the last time I seen. She was just on the move, going this way up into the woods. I've been talking to my dad. He's in the back side of the property. He's got tears. some of the videos in like right here and he's got deer all over him in the back so they're definitely on the move today I should have wore thicker socks because my feet were frozen already but I'm going to try to stick it out as long as I can it's a good day to be out I just got another text message from my dad saying to come to the back of the property. I guess there's deer chasing back there. At the very least, I'll park where I normally do and I'll videotape. So I'm going to work on getting down that we're going to the back property. Okay, well, we just got to the back of the property and I don't see any deer out in the field, which is good. I don't want to go spooking anything too bad. But. Apparently, according to my dad, <clears throat> he's seen five different buck already this morning. Uh, they're chasing does back here. Meanwhile, I seen three deer on the other side of the property and absolutely no rut activity whatsoever. So I don't know if there's a hot doe in the woods back here. I don't know. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to take the tree stand. Um, I have two cameras back here I want to check and I think I'm just going to take the bow the backpack, and uh, if I have to, I'll record with the GoPro. Like, worst case scenario, I will record with the GoPro and uh, see where we go from there. All right, we're gonna go work our way in here. I don't really know where my dad is. I have an idea where he is, but I don't know exactly where he is, so. Just gonna work our way in here real slow, trying to be as quiet as quiet as we can. I just found my dad. He's been he's grunting at a buck right now. So I'm trying to be super cautious. Walking in here. Well, that's always a good sign. Well, I just had the camera pull of my life. Two giant buck. Oh man. I found the spot where we're on next week, baby. We're gonna live in these freaking woods. Oh, come on, man. Unbelievable. We can't do it without my dad.
not that big, not this one. That was, that was yesterday at 8.30. <laughs> that is a giant. <laughs> 100 yards. All right, well, we are heading home right now. Um, that camera pool is probably gonna be like the greatest camera pool in my entire life. Like quite literally, my entire life, guys. I'll, I'll never get a better camera pool than that. I mean, I didn't even save all the buck pictures. Uh, I just saved the ones that were like, whoa. So I'm gonna run home, charge some batteries up, eat some food, try to get enough food in me to last me the rest of the day. And uh, I'm planning on being out here 1.30, 2 o'clock to uh, hopefully throw an arrow at a deer tonight. So the wind's gonna be in our favor. All those deer were coming out of a western bedding area and the wind is supposed to be out of the west tonight. So if they come out of there like they did, they shouldn't be able to smell me if I'm downwind from there. So just gotta get in there, find a tree. Uh, at, at this rate, I'm gonna be happy just to see one of those deer. I mean, wow. Unbelievable. So, I'll see you guys at 1.30. All right, well, after one hell of a debacle trying to find a damn tree, I finally found a tree. We're up. It's like 2.30, 3 o'clock. I got here at 1.30. I couldn't find a tree down there where I wanted to be. I'm in like some piss-ass little
was really cool. There was like five or six doe all together there. They're still actually like right over behind me, which is great because they never this close to just let one fly, take my shot. I think my dad would have killed me. I mean, it's November 2nd. I shouldn't be shooting though, but I hunt for meat, mostly. I hunt for meat. I'm out of deer meat. Okay, guys. Well, after a once a dismal, I mean, we did see those six doe. I just thought for sure, after seeing all those deer come through, all those doe, I thought for sure a buck was going to be following closely behind. And uh, obviously, I was wrong. It did not happen. So disappointing. But you know, we got some deer within bow range. Um, had I known that my camera arm was going to slide around the way that it was, I could have made something happen. But, yep, yeah, that's, that's the name of the game. Trying to self-film. It's difficult. So, Rutcation starts November 6th. So subscribe for that. You guys don't want to miss that. Me and my dad tearing up the woods like crazy. Should be a pretty good time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.